Welcome everybody to math art challenge number two. This one is brought to you by the humble circle. All right, so uh, this is the one I did uh, last night. I did this one here while uh, my wife and I were watching Parks and Rec. This was about a, I would call it a two episode math art challenge. I think it took me about two episodes there. Uh, so let me just show you how you go about making it. Um, so first thing you need is you need something that can draw a circle. Now I don't have a compass at my house, but I have um, this lid. So that's what I used. So I might just grab a lid from a jar. Uh, I marked one, put one mark there so I could kind of trace with that one mark, but you don't necessarily need that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give our, our, our circles a path. So give them a path. The other thing you might want to do is, I, I did this, is I marked it off and I tried to make it even. So I went around the whole shape and, uh, you know, I won't, I won't do that for this video to keep it short, but I went around the whole shape and tried to evenly space it. I didn't use a ruler or anything, but, uh, and I eventually would erase this bottom, right? So if you look at the one I did last night, that you don't see the, the pencil marks that used to be there. All right. So uh, what you do is you take your circle, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line up that mark on each point like so and make a circle cool it's kind of uh kind of relaxing that's one of the things i liked about this math art challenge i found it relaxing um, all right so you can kind of see what i'm doing here and you just keep tracing. I went with all the same color, but uh, you know, it might be cool to uh, keep switching the color up. You know, so rather than maybe using all the same color, switch the color up might look cool. There's also some really interesting patterns in there. Like I kind of want to thinking about going back and, and to trying to do it as a two color, two color ability, like our last art challenge. But we'll see. Um, okay, everybody, I think that's enough to get you going. Uh, take care, have fun, be kind to each other, and stay hip. Uh, hi, everyone. I just actually finished the video, and I forgot to be specific about the math you might want to think about, so I'll just throw this in here at the end. Uh, you know, it is kind of a translation and a rotation. And the beautiful thing about the circle is unless you mark a particular point, you can't really tell if it's being rotated. So it's kind of like a translation where you're just kind of uh, moving it in time and space. Uh, it's, uh, you know, you're preserving the, the size and the shapes. So you're just kind of translating it around. But we know we're not just translating because we're probably also rotating it but it is an example of a rigid transformation so right because you're just going to be doing a translation with kind of a secret rotation because the observer the, the final art piece won't know you are rotating and a little bit of connection to our first math art challenge uh, this one also has two color ability so again ask yourself um, why does it have two color ability and what might you have to do to it in order for it not to have two color ability? All right, that's it. Have fun.